Well, there's a, yet another salvo in the activist campaign against Kohl's. The activist investor McKellum is now upping the pressure on the department store, urging shareholders in a letter to oust the current board of directors and replace them with McKellum's picks. You've been covering this closely, Mr. Sazi. What can you tell us about this latest back and forth? This is such a debacle for Coles, uh, for Coles, Julie. It just continues. I've just never seen a situation like this. But again, uh, McKellum keeping the heat on Coles uh, here this morning, re-upping that it's really essentially wants to overthrow the company's entire board at its May 11th annual shareholder meeting. Uh, and one of those people that uh, would potentially could potentially end up on Coles' board, Jonathan Duskin, he's the CEO of McKellum Capital Management. It is him and his team that has been putting pressure on Coles for, for over a year here, and he's keeping the heat on the company. And why is this heat being placed? Because Julie, uh, it looks that Cole, looks like Coles has finally received uh, a new round of bids for its company. They put out a statement yesterday that they are reviewing uh, bids to take its company private. Now, the New York Post had a pretty good story uh, saying that Hudson Bay owner, which also owns Saks, is the lead bidder here in this. I still don't think uh, it's going to be Hudson's Bay uh, to buy this company. That company has long struggled. Its balance sheet is absolutely tattered. Uh, I would think a, a more likely buyer is a company like a Leonard Green. Uh, it already owns a lot of other retail brands. It's a noted retail private equity shop that invests in retail companies. But still, uh, this situation is ongoing development. Ultimately, uh, it probably behooves Coles to get some form of deal done before that annual meeting, because if they don't, they could be really embarrassed at that meeting. I mean, look at this. Look at this chart, Saz. I mean, it's, you know, it's like, uh, OK, you 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 gave the um, the bicep chart recently. This is the bucking Bronco chart. Like what a <laughs> ride. Wow. I mean, oh, look wow. at that thing. You you definitely, it is impressive, yeah. if I can continue the analogy, it's impressive that McCallum has not gotten thrown off that horse because that, it is, it has not been, um, wow. sorry, wow. <laughs> it is not Smoking been an easy today. ride, right? Wow. Uh, no, well, they, they have a, a good point. Now, Jonathan Duskin has told me before that, you know, if, if Kohl's were to spin out its e-commerce operations, its retail operations, this is probably a hundred dollar stock or even more. Uh, I'm sure Kohl's knows that, but still, I mean, this has been a company that has just failed on so many fronts the past five years under existing leadership. Something has to get done. This is a company probably better off in private hands at this point.